the largest part of our body is covered with skin which is a major source of protection and the first line of defense against all forms of infections hello beautiful my name is adenike adenaya and you're welcome to today's episode of the woman's body In today's episode of the woman's body we are going to be talking about the human skin yes the human skin and not the woman's skin this time around because we know that all humans are covered with skin and since our skin have the same functions and the same basic composition why not but we ought to know also that we women tend to be more cautious of our skin than our male counterpart so nonetheless we are going to learn all together in this episode of the woman's body so today like i said we are going to be talking about the functions of our skin and the basic structures of our skin and i'm going to just say a few things on how to take care of our skin so let us go directly into what we have for us today but before i go on can you take a minute to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so you can also click the bell by your right hand side so that you'll be able to receive notification is it right hand side or left hand side just click the bell so that you'll be able to receive notification whenever i drop a new video and i also need to apologize for staying away for a long time now i promise you that i'm back but not fully okay so let us go directly into what we have for us today first we are going to start with the functions of our skin our skin protects us yes our skin is a protective layer that covers our body and prevents the entry of any harmful substance or any pathogenic bacteria or any pathogenic microorganisms that may want to gain entry into our body these things can only get into our body if our skin loses its integrity as a result we can be sick if our skin have an abrasion or elision or any other opening secondly our skin contains normal flora or bacteria that are harmless and protect uh, our body from the entry of other pathogenic microorganisms this normal flora are regarded to as normal microbiota they are numerous they have been studied to be geographically diverse and they are also very important in in taking care of our skin like i said before they protect us they um they phagocyte any form of um pathogenic bacteria that may want to gain entry into our body we should not also forget that our skin is one of our five sense organs you know we have the eyes we have the nose we have the tongue we have the hairs uh, the hair and then we have our skin which means that our skin is responsible for the detection of stimuli in the environment our skin is very sensitive to touch our skin is sensitive to cold and to any other environmental condition and lastly our skin contains hair pores that protect that regulates our body temperature against that of the environment that said let us go into the basic structure of our skin you know normally we don't really go into full details of any structure on this channel so we are going to just say a few things about this structure our skin contains three different structures these are the epidermis the dermis and the subcutaneous uh, layer the epidermis layer is the outermost part of our skin that is elastic and that is always regenerated it contains cells that produce it that protects it and that gives it its color the cells that give the epidermis its color are called the melanocytes the melanocyte produces melanin the melanin is the pigment that gives us our dark color and that protects our skin from the radiation effect of the sun the dermis on the other hand is the inner part of the um, of the epidermis it's an inner layer it's a layer that is below the epidermis it contains the sweat gland the air follicle and the sebaceous gland the sweat gland as the name implies produces sweat that moves through the duct to the sweat pores on our epidermis layer the air follicle 
uh, as we all know there are the small pores through which air goes on our skin they help to regulate our body temperature while the sebaceous gland produces oil that nourishes our skin and that prevents the entry of uh, that, and that prevents our skin from the invasion of any pathogenic organisms lastly we are going to go to the subcutaneous layer the subcutaneous layer is the innermost layer of our skin and what does it do it contains the connective tissues and also contains the fat tissues all these tissues are they help to give our skin its integrity and they also help to insulate our skin or our body in most cases so how do we take care of our skin i would like to say that i am not in the best position uh to tell you how to take care of your skin you know what is uh good for your skin some people uh some people's skin are very sensitive to uh different products so i'm not going to say okay use this product or do not use this product on this channel but one thing that i want you to know is that some substances can actually uh damage your skin or they can cause irritation to your skin so do what is best for you and uh, avoid anything that can irritate your skin avoid anything that can uh, that can affect your skin in a negative way and also the most important thing is that we should try to take a lot of water plenty of water intake do not only help our skin to glow but also protect our skin they hydrate our skin that is they prevent our skin from getting dry they also replenish our skin i really hope you enjoyed today's episode of the woman's body you can drop a comment below to tell us how you take care of your skin and you can also encourage us on what to do and what not to do in order for our skin not to be um damaged or in order for our skin not to be negatively affected that will be all for today i hope to see you soon until then please stay safe drink plenty of water and take care of your body bye